And Janet is going to lead us in the kids' chat this morning. So come on, Gemma, you're all by your lonesome this morning. But I think Deb looks a lot like you, so you can... Yeah, here's Gemma, yes. Okay. To. Well, I've got something beautiful here. Isn't it beautiful? My beautiful present, my beautiful Christmas gift, and it's got a special tag on it too. And this is a special, I'm just going to put it there so you can look at it because it's so beautiful. I've got a lovely Christmas tag. And it says, to you, love with love always from God. Wow. I've got a Christmas gift here from God. How about that? Is that good? I think I should just put it up and look at it because it's so nice and it's a special thing. Do you think that I should just leave my special present here and let no, open it? You think I should open it? Yeah. Hands up if you think I should open it. You think I should open it? Hands down. Hands up if you think I should just keep it on the shelf and look at it because it's so beautiful. Nobody thinks that except maybe Joy. Okay, so you think I should open it. The consensus yeah. is I should open it. Should I open it now? Yes. Or should I wait until another day? Now. Now? Hands up if you think I should open it now. Now? Or do you think I should wait? Now? Now? No, I'm going to open it now. But a lovely ribbon. I could keep that to look at it. Feels pretty light. <gasps> Don't drop it. Okay, I've got a letter. I've got a letter here. It says, from God to you. God's written me a letter. Via Paul in his first letter to the church in Corinth, chapter 12, verses 1 to 7. And it says, gifts from the Holy Spirit. Wow, God, the Holy Spirit's giving me gifts. This is pretty exciting. I love gifts. Do you love getting gifts? Yeah, I do too. Everyone else love getting gifts? Yeah, put up your hand if you don't like gifts. <laughs> No, All right. it says there are different kinds of gifts, but the same spirit who gives them. Different ways of serving, but the same Lord is served. There are different abilities to perform service, but the same God gives ability to all for their particular service. The spirit's presence is shown in some way in each person for the good of all. There's a lot more words there too. But it says that the Holy Spirit is giving us gifts, each of us gifts to be used to be shared with all the people. Well, that reminds me of a song that we really like to sing, and that is about the fruits of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives us gifts, and when we use those gifts, don't keep them wrapped up, but open our gift, those Fruits of the Spirit are available in our lives and people can say, oh, she's opened that gift. She's opened that gift that the Holy Spirit's given her. She's opened that gift. He's opened that gift because they can see that your life is full of love and joy and peace and patience and goodness and kindness. Are you kind, Gemma? Are you kind to your sister? I think you are. All of the gifts of the Spirit are illustrated in our lives by the fruits that we show. So we can, you can look around and see who's opened the gift that God's given them, this special, beautiful gift, and who might still have it on the shelf and need encouragement to open it. So thank you all for encouraging me today to open this gift, this beautiful gift, which I've wrapped up again carefully now. So I can open it again and again and again and see what God's got in store for me in that gift. So thank you for listening. Let's just pray. Dear God, we thank you that you give us wonderful gifts 
that you give us wonderful gifts all the time. Help us to use those gifts, Lord, and show that we're using them through your amazing fruit in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Now we get to go to Sunday school. <laughs> <laughs>